I got told a great she, story a long time ago by Math, about Matthew Maynard that I'm not sure if you can use this because I'm not sure if it's true. But maybe I'll just say that I'm not sure if this is true. But someone told me they went on a night out, and this sums up cricket in the 90s, they went on a night out with Matthew Maynard in the mid-90s, and at 3 a.m., like over a kebab or whatever, he's like 12 pints type thing, said, oh, I've got to go. And they said, why? What are you doing tomorrow? He said, oh, I'm 37, not out. <laughs> 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 It sounds about right. That's believable. Which is, yeah. <laughs> there can't be many other sports in the world, right? Mm. Obviously, right. snooker when there's long sessions or whatever. Yeah. But cricket, imagine that. You've got to go in the next day and, mm. and, and take off from where you left off the day before. Yeah. You've got to be focused. And, and you could be facing, you know what I mean? You, you could be facing a, uh, a fast bowling attack, first ball of the day. And you've got to be 100% switched on. You haven't played yourself in. It's a weird one, isn't it? I, wouldn't I would find it. that first ball the hardest. Yeah. It? Yeah. I bet a disproportionate amount of people get out on that first ball on the, in the, in yeah. the, when, they've, when they've had a it, night off. Well, yeah, and it's a great point as well because all of the greats even start badly. There's something really sort of um, in, in the human condition and the essence of the human condition that no matter how good you are, every time you walk out to bat for the first time for like the first 10 minutes, it's like you haven't done it before. Mm. Even if you're Stephen Smith or whoever it is, Sachin Tendulkar, you're, you're like really exposed, which is brilliant, isn't Cricket's it? It's brutal for that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's, it's there's, the, there's the whole theatre of the walking down the pavilion steps, bat under your arm, a hundred yard walk out in front of everybody. Love to the crease. Got to take yeah. a guard, that takes a bit of time. There's that whole build up, first ball, bang, gone. It's like taking a penalty every time oh. you go and do your job. It's yeah. like taking yeah. a, it's the same good. walk, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, horrible. good point. Oh, <laughs> imagine that pressure going to the photocopier every day. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. Couldn't deal with that. <laughs> I meant to put a helmet on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get the gloves on. Box. It yeah, all the works. <laughs> Is your it doesn't matter what level you play, either. Do you know what? It, if you're playing, <laughs> no, it like, doesn't matter what level. When I used to teach, like PE, we'd have like a staff game. You know, three or four staff games a year, maybe at the end of the season, just real Mickey Mouse cricket, which is good fun. Mm. But even then, no one wanted to open. Oh yeah, no one wants to. God, Awful. I, I'm not opening. I'm not opening. No yeah. one cares. I There's find it's, like it's, it's more visceral at that level because I've actually, having worked with Jimmy Anderson for a while now, mm. he's bowled at me a few times and I find that less scary than in yeah. club cricket when there's someone just wanging their way at you and you just don't know where that ball's going to end up. Mm. You know, that, like with Jimmy, there's an element of control and it's going to be exactly... Oh, yeah. Well, not an element of control, yeah. it's in complete It's where he intends it to be, isn't it? It's where he in intends it to be. Yeah. And I think club cricket, it's like with like... It's like with football, you know, you go and watch Premier League football and you th you always think to yourself, oh, I think I could do a job here at right back. I could sort of fit in here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What are they doing? They're just sort of reading the game, passing it on. And then the lower that gets down, if you watch Sunday League football, you think, oh, I really don't fancy that. Like, that's really awful. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? When he's, when he's bowling at you, what percentage of trying his best, where is oh, he at, do you think? Well, he says... Okay, this is he's controversial lying. because he says he's in reverse gear. <laughs> <laughs> but I sometimes I do wonder because I don't know, having known him for a while, I know that he is and people like him generally are incapable of not competing mm. all the time. Mm. So even if it's whatever Scrabble, he needs to win that game of Scrabble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it, yeah. It, there, there comes a moment where he has to win. And he can't lock off the perspective, and that's obviously what's made him such a great sports person at times. So I always think... Well, that's oh, why he's still where he is after all this time as well. He's How many... 40. It's incredible. It is incredible, isn't it? It is incredible. And it's, it's, we talked to Sam Warburton the other day, and it just, uh, you know, and Sam had got a short career. I, I didn't realise it was that short. He, he stopped playing at 28. Right. But he, but he said part of that was with the injuries he had, he couldn't play at 100%, and he didn't want someone that he was better than to think they were better than him because they'd sort of bested him in a, in a game yeah. where if he'd have been at the top of his game, he'd have bested them. Yes. So Jimmy's still doing the business and Stuart Broad, right, at, at test level. And I, they, but they're the sort of people that I think, and you know them, obviously, you know, you know them really well, that they, they wouldn't be playing if they weren't at the top of their game. Yeah. 
yeah, if you're that you competitive, like Jimmy Anderson, you wouldn't play if you weren't in the top UK. I don't know. That's the thing. I just don't know. I used to always probe him for. Um, we've all got this idea of like there's a legacy moment where he retires, and you you know you're mm. thinking, oh, we'll go out against Australia at the top, and da 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 da. But having known him for a long time, I genuinely don't know that he even knows, and he just plays cricket, and that's what he does. Mm. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, so I can't yeah. ever work. I can't ever work that out. I feel like it is. It is does become a bit of your job where you just wake up and you play cricket, and everybody else is. Well, well that's your life. It's been his life since he was ten years of age, probably. Yeah. Sam said a really interesting thing. He said I had <coughs> played games against really great players, and I yeah. thought. At the end of their careers, I thought, well, they're not that good. But it's because he was 23 and at his yeah. physical peak. And this player was 33 and on the way out. Yeah. And he, he, he understood. He said, you know, I, I knew that if I played them 10 years ago, they'd have been better than me. But they certainly weren't better than me on that day. And that's what I didn't want. I didn't want people to say, I played against them more, but then he was all right. And the miss snaps, yeah. That's just a crack reminder. Well, look, a lot of sport. Get away with boxing. You, you know, get it with boxing, boxers don't you? who carry on far too long. Yeah. You don't. Very, very few play. I think. I think Shane Warne's an exception, where you get to choose how you go out of the game. On yeah, you know. yeah. So he, he sort of went out on the very top, didn't he? MCG, yeah. bang, done it. Yeah. What a way to finish. Yeah. Right? And, he, and he sort of planned that, and it happened. Yeah. Whereas the number of times when sports people plan a finish, never goes to plan. Yeah. Don't Bradman. Go, well, Bradman, out for a duck. Bradman. He needed four to get 100, a century average. And he's out for yeah. nothing. No, I think you about know, this As soon as you sort of time. set yourself up for that. But then I also think, some, I think about this all the time, Mike, because it, it's being in Jimmy's vicinity. I always think, what would I do? And blah, blah, blah. Think about him. But then I also feel like sometimes we project all of this shit onto these people. And yeah. And does it actually matter that much to them? Or does it... Do you know what I mean? Is it... Is it um, is it almost like not patronising and condescending, but to assume that that's going to be that important how we remember them? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. May, maybe it's not that vital to Jimmy the fact that he might go on a year longer than someone thought he should have done. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? So yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. like so yeah. I always sort of, sort of trying to soak up what all of that's about. You know what I mean? So if someone said to you, "You can't do your job now." You should yeah. stop now. Stop it. Your whole yeah. life's, you know, just change your whole life. Everything you do every day, don't do it anymore. You, even if you were going to be ten percent under, you'd still be like, oh, I kind of just like doing it though. Yeah, because <laughs> you know I, I, mean? I saw him interviewed after who was he playing against? He was playing for Lancashire the other day. Was it Essex? They were playing. Yes, they in were. The championship. Yeah. yeah, and he he seemed as you know, getting as much enjoyment out of that experience as playing in the Ashes. It, yeah. kind of, it just looked like he was having a whale of a time. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I've, to be honest with you, I've overthought this because when the Maccabees <laughs> um, finished, I was in my yeah. mid... I was 33 or 34. So yeah. I correlated it exactly with what it must feel like having watched sport my whole life to yeah. retire as a cricketer or as a footballer and then have that big distance of like life in front of you and not know what you're going to do with it. Yeah. You know, so I've I've fought this <laughs> way. So I've, I've like you, fought this uh, round the house. Well, I think that was, but I was you like, did the uh, the Ali Pali as your last gig. Yes, you did that big tour. Yeah, and then, you know, I, I remember thinking when when you did that Ali Pali show, I remember thinking if you had to, if you if a band has to split up, that's the way to do it. It's a bit like with with Oasis, they they were due to go on stage in Paris, and then they had an argument. Yeah, and then some bloke had to go on and say sorry. <laughs> Oh, and yeah. then they all start yeah. booing, and yeah. then that is it. And they've barely spoken since. But you make oh. a good point, Felix. Like I, I'm a, I like the Stones, right? Big Stones fan. I've seen them live a few times, right? Are they as good as they were in 1974? I highly doubt it, right? Right. People yeah. say, why are they still on tour? They're you know they're pushing AT. Charlie's dead, and all this. Well, do you know, <laughs> probably they love doing it, and they're mates, and they get to see the world, and that is that. That's all they've done since they were kids, and that's all they know anyway. So why yes. wouldn't they keep doing it? I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's interesting, yeah. isn't it? It is. Is the the yeah. projection thing's interesting? Look, Mike Powell's a mate of ours, so Mike played for Glamorgan three hundred odd times, I think. Right? Um, got a got his England A cap. Never got capped, and he said he was he was in the squad to get picked. Yeah. Look, and the, he, and, the he, and the game got postponed, I think. 
He, and he, he never... got called up. Truscothic got injured for a one day. Yeah? Oh, wow. Mm. Pat, so, how so he got this? called up? Uh, Mike, Mike Powell. Powell. Mike Powell. Right. Played for Glamorgan. Yeah. Cracking. Uh, and he, he's, he's a very got, handsome bloke who we go on about quite a lot about how yeah, what he looks he's, like. He came, he was around the house yesterday smelling great, but go on. Yeah, he <laughs> smells <laughs> really nice. He does smell good. Oh. And he's lovely just hair, very attractive. He nice. <laughs> yeah. But he was called up for his first cap because he was yeah. a hell of a batter, wasn't he? He was in the 11. For his county. And, you know, all the title, it all comes up on Sky, you know, Mike Powell's, because I, I was reporting on Welsh Sport at the time, so I was like, mm. fucking old Powell, he's going to get a cap. He was brilliant. And then he just pissed it down all day. And, and then like next ODI, Triscothic's fit oh. again. Never gets his cap. Well, I've asked him about that. So, mate, that must eat you up. He said, no. But <laughs> 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 no. like Felix, is, he's like, no, not Why really. No, I've, I've had a life of cricket. I've loved That's, it, you know. At yeah. your birthday, I was chatting to him about it. And he said, um, he well, said, well, Keep that it day, late, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what, 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 that was eight pints in. You know, Holy! Can, can, I, can I can I talk about the thing that must eat you up more than yeah. anything? <laughs> like, can I just do karaoke, Steph? No, 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 no. You're not going to the karaoke until you answer this. All right. Fucking Good, you can wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he just said. Oh, he said no for for that day. Hmm. I was one of the best eleven England cricketers yeah. who were available and fit. I just yeah. didn't happen to play. The next day I wasn't because Druscothic was fit again. Mm. That's fine. Very sanguine. I was like, fuck it now. Yeah. I wonder it if happened. We, uh, it happened on. as well to Roger Bidgood, the centre, the rugby player. He was yeah. meant to play for Wales in a Five Nations game and then it was snowed off. That's and, I don't shit. Think, and I don't think he was picked again. Or if he was picked again, it was years later. Yeah, I think he did. I think years, Bidgood years did later. play. I think years later. That's mm. shit, isn't it? That was mm. it. He was the popular centre, had been picked for his debut to face Ireland in Cardiff in the 1987 Five Nations for heavy snow and ice forced an almost unprecedented postponement. So Devereux was injured. I got the call after playing in the Probables versus Possibles trials match, but the game was called off and John was fit for the next game where it was played, and that was my chance gone. It was deeply frustrating at the time. And then he had to wait five years because he, he was a firefighter. He was in the amateur era. Oh, really? Yeah, imagine that would piss you off. If there was one bloke who was slightly better than you, yeah, and injured, and then there's fucking snow. Yeah, yeah. But I'm coming from a position of never having been good enough at anything. That there's only one person who's better than me at it, Ooh. so it's fine. It's a, my life is not that. Yeah, we're gonna meet Lee Jarvis. Well, Lee had one cap for Wales playing rugby, and he, he was sort of talking about the fact once he'd only got this one cap, and you know, people, some people take the piss and. I said, Christ, mate, you've got what, what thousands and thousands and thousands of blokes that I know would give their right arm for. You've got a Welsh cap. You've played for your country, right? That's nothing to be, for a second, embarrassed about with it. Yeah. You know, and you've had a career in it in rugby, and, and you've played <coughs> for your country. Yeah, it's sad, weird, isn't it? it? That you can be that you can be that high achieving, and then you leave with that feeling from it. Is really sad. I mean, it's also mm. like with footballers, like you assume really talented footballers are just deciding not to do the thing that they do sometimes when they like beat three people or do you know what I mean? Really yeah. talented people, you're assuming they're making a conscious decision not to like whatever, like score or yeah. win the ball or, or run down the line yeah. and that kind of thing. So I think we mis do misplace a lot of projections. Do you know what I mean? I just feel yeah. like because we're sort of desperate for it ourselves or. Yeah, I don't know. I, with Jimmy, it always like talk a bit about his like magic wickets, and he doesn't remember, you know, <laughs> that's the thing, what the game well, situation so was. Well. Yeah. Or that What's he smell thing? like, Felix? Cut to the chase because he's yeah, he's, he's a good looking man as well. Yeah, he is. Is it what is, your lovely think, hair, lovely are you ins skin? Are you insinuating you good cricketers all smell the same? Is this what you're yes. insinuating? Not, with his no, they yeah. all smell good. I would say, good cricketers need to smell musky. I would say. I like to think that Simon Jones smells great. I know that Mike Powell smells great. Not sure about Mike yeah. Gatty. I don't think Gatty smells great. I don't think I want to smell Gatty. Embry, no. no. I, I've never met a cricketer and gone, he stunk. Like, they really stunk. <laughs> That's good. Point. And, and, yeah, but they're out there all day in the same clothes as well. Yeah. Right? Sometimes it's very hot. So, some of yeah. them must stink. What's Gatty like? He stinks. <laughs> Your first thoughts <laughs> of a cricketer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Smelly it's... old Graham Gooch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whiffer. Oh, God. Oh, I met David Gower at a thing before, and oh, yeah. Gower smells. Eggy Gower? So 
It's <laughs> egg. Lovely. Just smell of cretin egg. It smells fresh. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 It smells I, fresh, yeah. In terms of the senses, I can't remember ever thinking that Jimmy smelled bad, so he must smell good. But you know when you've got mates and you sort of pat them on the side or something and you get used to, like, um, when you say goodbye or, like, or touching them and mm. there's just a little bit of rubber, like, round here wobble, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah it's yeah, just soft yeah. and nice. That's the thing that always yeah. strikes me with Jim is when you do that, there's just literally, it's just, like, <laughs> tough. Just, like, oh, lovely. It, yeah, exactly. Like, it's Ooh. just, there's a different... Um, Bowling ball <laughs> glutes. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Lovely. I once uh, just as I just as I suspected. <laughs> I, once, <laughs> I once put my arm around Joe Calzaghi to say thank you. Oh, right. right. the it was, fuck did you do that? Uh, I don't know. I started out a drink. <laughs> no, it's a nice thing to do. Wow. And uh, it was like, yeah, it was it was like hugging a hugging a big bit of banister or something. It was just very very hard. Oh. <laughs> 